today's video, I'm going to show you how to create two different looks using this Wet n Wild palette. What I've basically done is split the palette into two sections, the top five and the bottom five. Let's start off with the top five. So just giving them little names, we're going to start off with shade number two and just apply this all over the lid from the lash line up to the brows. We're next going to take shade number one, which is a transition shade, and blend this back and forth in the crease of the eye using a blending brush. Moving on next, we're going to apply shade number three, which is a beautiful orangey shade. We're going to apply this all over the lid using a slightly smaller brush this time. Really make sure to pack this color across the lid, but don't blend it up too far. That transition shade is always higher than this shade. And sticking with that same brush, we're then going to apply shade number five just on the outer edge of the eye. But very softly sweep it in to make sure it blends with shade number three right in the center of the lid. Then taking shade number four, which is our shimmer, we're just gonna tap this over everything that we've applied. And I'm using my fingertips because I'm not looking to pack this color on, I'm just literally tapping this very lightly just to add a little bit of shine. I've also applied a little bit of shade number three just underneath the eye as well. And it's kind of like a warm, smoky eye with a little bit of shimmer. Now for the next look, we had a little bit of a disaster. Basically that shade number seven, which is my favorite shade from the palette, it just went really patchy, uneven. The more I blended it, the worse it got. I tried everything and in the end I actually had to start again, which has never really happened when I've created these looks before. Also, it did stain my lids, which I just wanna point out, it's very common with this particular shade. So just make sure if you have a problem with that to pack on a lot of primer and this will protect your lids slightly. Anyway, let's start this look off again and do it correctly. I started off with shade number 10 and just apply this back and forth in the crease of the eye. This is our transition shade. I then took shade number nine and just applied this all over the lid. Really keep this nice and close to those lashes in particular. And then over the top of that, I took shade number eight. And this is a beautiful kind of shimmer. It's very close to shade number nine. It's just got like a shimmery, more purpley effect. And then I went in with shade number seven and I applied that over the top of shade number eight and nine, which did slightly change it. What I would actually say to do is just keep applying it to kind of build it up over time. I feel like I went in with too much to begin with and that's why it kind of disappeared. Also, it is a matte shade, so you kind of need to apply a little bit of shimmer underneath to give it something to grab hold of. But I was pretty happy with how that turned out. I did take a little bit of shade number six and four and just apply this in the inner corner, and then shade number seven and eight and just apply this underneath the eye to bring the entire look together. So it's sort of like a purpley smoky eye. Hope you guys enjoyed this and if you do create any looks with this particular palette, I would love to see them. So definitely tag me, it's at Katie, or you can just send them to me on my Instagram DM. I love seeing your work and I'm always really inspired by it. So definitely let me know if you have created looks with this and what combinations that you use because I would love to know and I'll see you guys in the next one.